Hi, I am Dr. Raghu. Today I will be discussing difference between SMILE, LASIK and PRK. First and foremost, the major difference is the technique. In LASIK, we create a flap in the cornea either by using microkeratome or femtosecond laser. Once we create a flap, we lift the flap and use eczema laser to ablate the tissue or the, to smoothen the tissue or reshape in the cornea so that the power gets corrected in LASIK. Whereas in PRK, we don't really lift the flap. Instead of that, we remove the first layer of the cornea, which will heal in three days. Once we remove the epithelium, then we ablate the stroma and reshape in the cornea. We use bandage contact lens in PRK so that the healing will happen in three to four days. In SMILE, instead of creating a flap or removing the epithelium, we directly go inside the stromal layer and we make a small incision and take out the lenticule. In SMILE only, we use femtosecond laser. In LASIK, we use eczema laser. In PRK, we use eczema laser. In femtosecond LASIK, we use both femtosecond laser as well as eczema laser. Coming to the recovery part, in SMILE, the recovery is very fast because the minimal incision is done. The dryness component is very less. The, the biomechanical stability of the cornea is very good with SMILE compared to any other refractive procedure. In LASIK, blade LASIK and femtolasic, the recovery is good or even fast. The recovery takes around two to three days followed by which a patient can get back to his normal routine by a week's time. In PRK, since we have removed the epithelium, it takes more time for it to heal. But the advantage of PRK is PRK can be done even for thinner corneas. If you see the recovery, once we put a bandage lens post procedure, we remove it only after the epithelium is healed, which will be confirmed only after seeing the patient. Normally, within three to four days, the epithelium heals, followed by which we remove the bandage contact lens. Coming to the advantage of each procedure. The advantage of each procedure is PRK can be done for even thin corneas. PRK can be combined with cross-linking in keratoconus patients, whereas LASIK Blade LASIK can be done if the thickness is good. Femtosecond LASIK can be done for a borderline cases. The advantage of SMILE versus femtolasic or any other procedure is you can remove wide range of refractive errors in SMILE. Coming to the limitation of SMILE versus LASIK or PRK is SMILE cannot be done for hyperopics. That is a patient who is having plus power SMILE cannot be done, whereas LASIK and PRK can be done for plus power, astigmatism and myopia. SMILE can be done only for myopia and some amount of astigmatism. Plain astigmatism cannot be corrected in SMILE surgery. Find more about SMILE versus femtolasic from the link given below. To know more, talk to a MedFin expert today.